Come, identification yourself for recognition before I... Identification yourself before I... I, I, I release my AK-47. Identification yourself for recognition before I shoot. Mr. Kenneth, will you open the gate? Small Majesty, are you? Welcome, Small Majesty. Hey, but, Small Majesty, why you can't they use your futon until they work now? Why the did it take you so long to open the gate? Sorry, sir. What were you doing? Eh, hey, Small Majesty, I be the dream. As I did dream for there, I can't win 35 million for Niger bet. I said, who carry the money now? You just can't wake me up. Wait, make, make, make I collect the money first now. I for collect the money. Huh? But now me and Oga Majesty for the drag who get money pass. Will you shut up. Yes, sir. Shut up. So this is how you guide the gate? No, sir. Tell me why you shouldn't lose your job today. Ah. So Majesty. At this work that they feed my family, make I lose job. I beg I go explain. Wait, make I explain, I beg. I am not here to argue with you. Yes, sir. Since you've won yourself 35 million. Yes, sir. We're no more at par. Who is inside? Eh. Your sister be there inside, though. <laughs> but as I arrange her to collect the 35 million, whether I know what can, no, no. Get man. Get man. Sir. Can you just listen to yourself? Yes, sir. I'll be back for you. Me? Wait yourself. Don't use your reggae spoil my blues. Now, I'm supposed to change that for you. Just come use the reggae spoil my blues. This 35 million for the collector. To start collecting now for dash and money self. Ah.
Oh, 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 Your Majesty, sir. Summon an emergency meeting. All right, Your Majesty. I don't know what is wrong with Jen. What are you talking about? I met her home seriously sick. I'm even calling you from the hospital. They just administered treatment to her. I believe she'll be fine. Come on, see. Just hold, hold it right there. I'll join you immediately. Okay? Um, which hospital? Cancel the board meeting. What's wrong with my daughter? She's okay, sir. It was just a slight fever. I mean, a very little fever. But as I speak with you right now, she's doing great. Are you sure? She's fine. Maybe I should fly her abroad for proper treatment. Come on. The doctor said she's fine. Yes. Just a slight fever, and he said she's okay. Let her be. She'll be fine. Are you sure? Yes. I don't want anything to happen to her. Nothing is going to happen to her. You have nothing to be afraid of. She's in the safe hands. Oh, please excuse me. I need to attend to other patients. All right. Okay. Angela. Angie. Angie. Dad. That let her be. She's sleeping. Are you sure? Yes. Huh. Is that supposed to be normal breathing? Your Majesty, she's coming out from a fever. That's why she's breathing like that. She's fine. She will be fine. She will. And she's
can I? Son? Mom. You have to go home with Dad. Eh? It's already getting late. Let me stick back with Jen. Oh? Right. You're, you're right. Let me stick back with Jen. Dad. Dad. Mm. I'll stay here. Um, both of you should go home. I'm here. Dad. Darling, you don't have to do this. Eh? Remember you have been at the office all day. Just go home and get some rest. Eh? Besides, some of your subjects might be looking for you at the palace. Oh? Oh. How can I rest when, when my angel is here and uh, sick? No, I'll stay here. Mom, please don't push it, all right? Don't push it. You and I know you can't persuade Dad. Let's go. Dad, is the driver and the guard staying here with you too? Um, yes. Um, when you get home, instruct the maids to prepare a special dish for her. You know what she likes best. Make it very hot. And then bring it back immediately. Better, father. Better. Um, okay. You, how are you? Ah, I'm fine. Please get away from my princess. Thank you, father. Hmm. I'm thirsty. Father, don't do that. I'm not a child. Oh. I'm a big girl. Give it. Big girls don't get sick. Mm. Drink. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Come on. Don't take a gulp. A sip. You are sick. Remember? Okay. Yes. The doctor said uh, uh, you are. You will be okay. Mm. But I'm not convinced. I think you should go overseas abroad for proper treatment okay come off it father i am fine mm. i'm better now mm. besides you shouldn't be here 
You should have been at home resting. Yes. You stress yourself too much. If you had wanted me to be home, you shouldn't have been sick. I won't fall sick again. That's better. But then, I want you to go home. Mm. For now, why don't we have the sick girl lie down and <laughs> sleep? Daddy, you will never change. Now nah, don't sleep first, my little angel. I love you, Daddy. Come on, sleep, sleep. Mm. Is it? What? Jane? In the hospital? Oh, that was why Dad left the office hurriedly. And I had to stand in for him all day. But is she that serious? For where? The doctor said it was just a little fever. And she was probably fine before we left the hospital. Can I? Did the doctor say probably? The doctor said she was fine. Then why did dad stay behind? <sighs> she need not to ask. We're talking about Jane here, remember? Come to think of it. Mom, why is it that dad pays special attention to Jane? Like seriously, want me to answer that? <laughs> Have you forgotten this one? She is your father's mother's reincarnate. Or do you want your father to lose his mother again? Do you? I don't believe in that superstition. Jane. Grandmom's reincarnate. Jane is just a stubborn kid sister that I would love to beat one day. Mm. No, who do that? You? <laughs> you beat Jane. <laughs> okay. Prepare to spend the rest of your life in jail. Because Chief William will make sure you are severely punished <laughs> for touching Jane. Mom, mom, honestly, it's unfair. It's unfair. Are we not supposed to be loved equally by dad? Why does he love Jane more? Kenneth, reserve that question for your dad when he comes back so that you can talk to him eyeball to eyeball, man to man. <laughs> Her Majesty, my prince, the food is ready. Okay. Has the former man left for the hospital? Yes, Her Majesty. Did they go with the food? Yes, Her Majesty. Okay, thank you. You can leave. Hmm. Let me see if His Majesty, your father, will continue to be in the hospital after seeing Nelly and the former. Will he trust them so much to be able to take care of Jane? If Dad wants to sleep in the hospital, that's his business. But he should be reminded that he's a first class king. And he should know when to remove emotions from his personal life as a king. Yes. Oh. Let me go and uh, freshen up first and then come down to the dining. Because I'm looking at that. He will sleep in that house tonight, too. Oh. Oh. Can I? Let's go and eat. Yeah. Behind. Honestly, Mom, something has to be done about this. About what? But I love you. You shouldn't bother about that. Love you too, Mom. Come to the dining. I will.
princess, what, what, what's going on? I've been trying to reach you. It's not princess. It's Kenichi. Uh, Kenny? Oh, okay, what about Jane? Jane is hospitalized. Jesus. Which hospital? Doctor, I thought you said I'm fine now. Yeah. So why can't I be discharged? Doctor, I have lectures to attend to. Listen, it's an express order by your father, the king. He ordered you stay behind so you can get enough rest. My goodness. I mean, why did you have to tell my father about this? You should have told him that I'm better now. Excuse me, I'll be back. I don't want to see your face or that of my father's, please. I don't like it here. I want to go home. Hi. I thought Kenneth said someone was very ill. Oh. So you actually want me to die so some girl will come take my place? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, honey. I am fine. Nothing is wrong with me. <laughs> of course you'll be fine. And nothing will ever be wrong with you. Of course you know that. Because I love you so much and you are the queen. I love you too. <laughs> I love you so much. Um, Hope you're feeling better. Yeah, I'm seeing something. Is this really for me? I actually got it for the patient, but it's obvious you're feeling better, so I'll just take Who it back. Who told you that? It is mine. <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Mm, but baby, I want to go home. It's alright, you go need to feel better first. I'm better. You sure? Yeah. Okay, we'll confirm from the doctor. <laughs> Just say no, just more. Thank you. See, make I tell you. Marry me. Marry me. <laughs> you don't know what you they miss. Our wedding, I don't plan on. I don't plan on. The president of Egypt and the president of Israel, they go attend. Hmm? And for the security during the wedding, I'd already talked to the president of America. Now, American soldiers, now go guide us. <laughs> Our wedding go be talk of the town. What be town? Talk of the country. If I talk of the world, you go see him now. Marry me. Mazi, do you know that your mother has lost hope on you? Why could you talk like that? Because you are talking out of, out of point. Moi. You. See you. <laughs> you now. Mm. Inviting American soldiers on your wedding day. And you're here opening and closing gates. Oh. Maze, mm. cut your coat according to your size. Stop this your rubbish dreams and get focused. I'm in a bar in a wonder America. You know my size. You know my size. Come make I tell you. Anything where you they talk me, you should they talk and now they talk cha 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 cha. You don't know who they are. When I don't collect that my 84 million, eh? hmm. See, make I tell you. Rose Rose, I go buy for you. Yeah. <laughs> Me, I go buy Lamborghini. No Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. Then the, that one they would call Porsche. Porsche way whiskey they use. I go buy and give you. Now that one go the car go market. Then you will come see say myself go become king. They go they call me majesty. This organ majesty way they see so I go be my boy because now me go be the chairman of all the majesties. They there, they talk. Marry me if you wise. Uh -huh. Job small. Sete! 
I'm bothered about is right here catching some fun. Oh, Daddy, I told you not to bother about me. I am fine. Yes. I'm perfect. I can see you're fine. Mm. <laughs> well, greetings, Your Majesty. Yes. How are you? I'm fine, sir. You, oh. Um, Dad. Yes. Who is he? Oh, Michael. He's my friend. Friend. Cosmate. No. Right. No, Father. He's a friend of mine. A good friend. Daddy, let's forget about that. I really want to live here. I'm tired of this place. In fact, I am fine. I want to go home. Yes. Yes, you're fine. Um, see, 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 honey. I'm not convinced. You're fully recovered, okay? Father, I am. I'm fully recovered. You can ask the doctor. I'm okay. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Yes. Honey. We just have to wait a little longer. Mm -hmm. You need to be fully recovered. I'm fine, Daddy. I'm strong. I want to go home. I say he came for me. He loved me well, well. Now which can love me this year? The love is too much. Now which can love me this year? You love me, hallelujah. You love me so day will make me come the one day. You love me so day will make me come. The Mother, my princess. Mother. Ah, welcome home. Thank you. I thought you weren't leaving the hospital today. Well, actually, <laughs> you, you took the words out of my mouth that she is here at her own insistence. Oh. Father, can you stop already? I am fine. Jenny, I was even planning to visit you today. Mm, but I'm here, bro. Good to have you back home, sis. Thanks, bro. I am strong. Come on. I'm okay. My princess. I'm so happy that you're all right now. Welcome back home. Thank you, Auntie Eunice. Thank ah, you. Welcome home. All right, let's let's go in. You know, Lola. One God salute for you. Koza!
says, you're home. Please don't fall sick again. like that? Ah, I'm really very sorry. I didn't want to bother you and your father, so I decided to give you guys some space. But you shouldn't have left like that. I thought you stepped out to get something. My dear, your father, if you do your father, I don't mind. I have to give you guys some space, honestly. Uh, are you still in the hospital? In my room. I'm back home. Oh, really? You've been discharged? Yes. I told you I'm fine now. I'm better. Please forget everything that happened. I'm so sorry for that. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> My love, you don't have to apologize. It's not your fault. Uh, what matters is that you're fine, you've been discharged and you're back home. Later on, I'll come take you out. Yes, but right now I have to go. I have some work I'm doing. Huh? Mm, it's okay. Later. Princess, what? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Don't be sick again, okay? You got almost all of us scared. Hmm? Most especially your father. Get the old man worried again, okay? I'll try not to be sick again. But you know I couldn't have intentionally wanted to be sick. Be I'll be fine. Thank you. Um she could have gotten you something to drink, Father. Father. Who did you say that man I met at the hospital was? Oh, but I already told you. He's my friend. My friend? Yes, not just an ordinary friend. He's my boyfriend. We've been dating for years. I could categorically say that he is a wonderful soulmate. 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 Angel. Mm. You're a student. medical student for that matter. All this girlfriend, boyfriend stuff is some necessary distraction. No, Daddy. I'm not distracted. And not for someone like Michael. He's an exceptional kind of person. He has influenced my life in so many positive ways. So, uh, he's a nice person, Father. And he cares about me so much. Listen to me, Angel. You 
don't need him. He is a distraction. I know what is good for you. As a father, I know. I know that. Now listen. You don't need any relationship now. It's a lot of distraction for a young girl like you who is looking forward, looking to the future, looking to the bright future. You don't need any relationship. Education is your focus. Education is your priority, okay? But father, I've always taken my education seriously. Yes. Well. Always. That's not what is happening now. And it's not possible. Two fists in one mouth. How is it possible? You cannot be carrying on a relationship at the same time as you are very, very focused in your studies. It's not possible. One must give way. And I tell you, as your father, what you need now is your education, your studies. Education. What I expect from you now. And nothing more. Period. My love, I don't see anything wrong in Jane having a boyfriend now. I think she's old enough for that. Really? Old enough? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Oh my God. Her education is what matters now. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? That young man is a distraction. No, 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 no. Michael is no distraction. I think that young man is a very nice person. Hmm. Is that so? A nice person. Yes, nice. Very nice. Why don't you bring Ubakwa and stop playing it? Nice, nice, nice. What's wrong with you? Eh? So, you knew all along. And you encouraged it. No, I never encouraged anything. I only found out when they were already involved. And I discovered that the young man is a very nice person. So I only advised her to be careful so that she doesn't get pregnant in the future and ruin her future. Is that so? Ah! Can you listen to yourself? Take a time, take a moment. Reason out what you just said. Take a little time and listen to yourself. Ah! So this is the best advice a reasonable mother would give her teenage daughter. Is that? Now listen. Talk to your daughter. Talk to her. Let her go back to her education. Now listen. Her education is her future. Reading medicine is not like every other course. It is difficult. Come on, talk to her. Talk to your daughter. Her education is her future. Let her concentrate. Her future means everything, not relationship. Please, talk to your daughter. Talk to her. Talk. Talk, I You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense
Asking to be with the one I love, then you turn. is bad. I was just testing. I'm a mechanic. I was just testing the car. I don't know what happened to the steering. I'm sorry. Did you just say the car is bad? I'm sorry. The car is, is, that, is that what you just said? That the car is, that the car is bad? Listen now. Nico, I'm sorry. Oluchi, did you, did you see what just happened? Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Sorry, so the car is bad. You didn't see any other place to test the car. It's on me? Calm down. The, 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 the steering got locked. I don't know how it happened. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. It's okay. I saw what happened. I saw what happened. Oh. Let's thank God that you did not break, break your legs. I can't believe it. Uh, Oluch, I can't just believe what happened right now. Jane, it's okay. It, it, it's okay. Nah, Thiko. What's go? Is this how people die? We should be thanking God that nothing happened to any of us. Please. If you were in Ashuja, I believe you would have acted the same way or even more. Don't tell me to calm down. Look at my dress, look at my body. I'm looking so dirty and I can't, I can't go out like this. He has to come and take me home. With this same car. With this car? Jane, this guy is going order. His punishment is that he's going to go get another car while this man remains here. This one is going to be here while you go get another car and come take me home. I'm not moving an inch. I don't have another car, it will still be It's none of my business! You will have to find another car and come take me home! Jane, calm down! I am not happy! Don't tell me you're sorry! You want to kill me and tell me you're sorry? You don't know how to drive, you carry the car and you want to kill somebody! It is true this guy is a mechanic. It is true that he erred. But we should be thanking God that nothing happened to any of us. If you had slapped him just once, I won't complain. You know, sometimes I don't like how you manage your anger. For you to slap a man twice and he didn't react, that's what makes him a man. Please, I want you to say sorry to him. Excuse you. Oluchuku, you must be kidding me. I should tell him sorry for what? Oh, because you're not the one rightly involved. What if he had broken my waist or my leg? Is this what you'd be saying? Please, if this is why you stopped me, I want to go. I know you can't say sorry, but at least he tried by dropping us off here with someone else's car. If you don't want to say sorry, it's fine. Let's go. Wait. Hi. I... 
Please, what's your name? Michael. Um, Michael, I want to apologize for slapping you. I'm sorry I did. I was really angry. So, I give you. I'm sorry. I'm also sorry. I guess it's my fault. But I've never seen a woman with such temperament. Honestly, I'm not like this. I'm usually not like this. Just that someone got me angry earlier, so I, I probably transferred it to you. <laughs> Thought as much. Anyway, I'm sorry. You are such a gentleman. I mean, some other guy would have retaliated. A wise man never lays his hands on a woman, no matter what. Wow. We are very sorry. Please forgive us. Can I also know your name? My name is Oluchiku. Oluchi for short. I'm Jane. I can't believe I was just about to call you. Really? Yes, really. I just had a bath and I got out and since then it's just been you on my mind. So how are you? Have you had something to eat? I feel better. I'm better, trust me. Just that. I miss you. And if you will be free, I'd like to see you tomorrow. So good to see you. <laughs> it's good to see you too. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. I'm oh, so sorry. And um, th this is my boyfriend, oh, okay. Michael. Okay. Michael, this is Collins, <laughs> the only son of Senator Ken. Oh, <laughs> Michael. Uh, it's a pleasure. Good to see you. <laughs> Come on, Mike. So how are you? I'm good. Come on, sit down. Thank you. Wow. You did do well. Uh, you traveled and you never called anyone. That's don't so nice. say that. Jane, I know you never wanted me to bother you. So I respected that decision. Even <laughs> though it's one of the most difficult decisions I've ever made. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. <laughs> Please, you will never change. The beautiful one. Uh huh. I love it. <laughs> Fascinating, outstanding, oh God. magnificent, amazing. <laughs> I don't feel like oh. that. Is he okay? Um, uh, 
he will be fine. Geno, oh I've missed you. I've missed you. Like everything. Geno, Geno. Uh, How are you? Everything is okay. Like, wow. God, I can never believe I will see you for a long time. <laughs> Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Um, please, where's Michael? Ma, I thought you guys left together. Yes, we did, but he left before me. He didn't return here. No, ma, he didn't return. Where could he have gone to? Ma, I hope it's all is well. Um, all is well. Thank you. Beautiful one. Collins. Are you surprised? Of course I am. You shouldn't be. We're family, remember? I know. But you never told me you were coming here. Oh yes. That's to say that I have not changed from the Collins I used to be. I love to take people by surprise. Jane, Collins here has been telling me the beautiful plans he has for both of you mm -hmm. when you go back to America. <laughs> yes, that is where we will be having our wedding. Coming soon. Collins, please. What is wrong with you? Oh, I'm sorry, okay? I totally forgot 
if you don't like talking about it. You never change. Why should I? That's one of the threats that makes me a lively guy. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised. Not at all. You're always proud of yourself. Mm. The beautiful one, I came to take you out. I want us to go and have a lunch. What do you think? I I'm so sorry, I have a place to go. Come on, Jane. It's been ages you guys saw each other. Why not give our friend here some minutes of your time today? Just today. I don't think he's asking for too much. But... And um, please... The prin my princess, please, okay? I just want to take you out so that... Um, all the guys who envy me... Hmm? Please. Place to go to the... Ah. Prof, I, I never really knew that you you could still find your way to my office. It's amazing. Oh yes, it's been a while. You see, and I know you're a very busy man. You hardly keep contacts with your old friends. Ah, that. He must forgive me. The problem? Yes, that's one dark side of me. I must work on. Okay? <laughs> Prof, you're welcome. Thank you very much. I'm glad you came. Yes. Now, high school. School is fine. We are fully in charge. <laughs> I guess you must be always the marshal, the VC. Oh, yes. And I hope you are still keeping eyes on my kids. Yes, we are taking charge there. Uh, I came in in respect of that. I see. Uh, let's see. I see. There is something disturbing that I need to tell you about. The news that you maybe you wouldn't like concerning your son, Kenichi. You've been moody since you spotted that dude. Ignoring me in my presence. What is going on? Jane. Who is that guy to you? Huh? I hope he's not someone I should be worried about. 
I'm talking to you, Jane. Answer me. Collins, please. Please. Just let me be. Jane, you've been saying this for years. Eh? I'd, I do not want to take it anymore. I came all the way from the States because of you. I want to make you my wife. Oh, yes. I know there are other girls there that wanted me, but I do not care. You are the one that my heart yearns for. I've established businesses, even over there in... And I still want to set up one or two in Nigeria here, just to make you comfortable. Because your comfort is my priority. As my wife, you enjoy me. Eh? What is the issue? What is the issue? I'm still wondering why you haven't been taking my calls. I have been calling you. Baby, I'm talking to you. Are you going to keep asking me like you don't know why? Huh? No, tell me you don't know. Tell me you don't know. I know where you're headed, but to tell you the truth, there is nothing behind it. Nothing. Really? Yes. Nothing behind it. And I'm supposed to believe that. Huh? Like, 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 like I'm a child, right? I should just believe anything you're telling me. Come on. Please, come on. I'm not a child. Okay, I'm not, I'm, 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 I'm an adult. I mean, that... Listen, if you want to be with that guy, just let me know. It's obvious. Okay, fine. It means we're not of the same class. Okay? He's a rich guy from a wealthy home. Probably studied abroad or something. He's the kind of person you should be with. I'm a poor guy who's just trying to make something out of my life. You want to be with him? Let me know. Baby. Tell me to my face. Let me go. Baby. Okay, it's simple. I'll just go. Stop it. Don't make me look stupid. Stop it. What is wrong with you? What are you saying? What do you think of me? Did I, did I not see him before I chose you? Come on. Listen, babe. I really love you. I have nothing with him. Absolutely nothing at all. I'm sorry for everything that happened. But to tell you the truth, my dear, there is nothing between us. You know I love you. And I will continue to love you forever. Baby, come on. I love you too. Oh, my. So sorry. Oh, Kenneth. Kenneth was that why I sent you to school? To go join some cult group? Dad. Dad, I don't know what you're saying. I don't belong to any cult group. Shut up. I said shut up! So your vice chancellor is now making up stories about you, right? Is that it? Honestly, Dad, I don't know what that man wants from me. He has been against me, like practically against me, since I got into that school. Now he's trying to use cultism as ad hominem to, uh, for, 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 for a group he never, he never agreed with. Which group? Which group? Did I send you to the school to go start messing up with some useless group? Did I? My love, why don't you verify this word claim? Verify what? The professor, the vice chancellor, cannot trammel up uh, stories about my son, about my child. And this idiot knows that. Now listen. Until he explains to me why he got involved with those animals, I will make things hard and difficult for him. What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the care that you show me? And the love that we share? What happened to you? What happened to you? It's like... A... What exactly is going on here? 
Dude, you've got some nerves, you know? Has anyone told you that something good comes out from cultism? I don't understand what you people are talking about. I don't belong to any cult group. Oh, shut up! Just shut up! Shut your mouth! Loves me well, well. I say he came for me. He loved me well, well. Now which can love be this? Oh, love is too much. Now which can love be this? Oh, you love me, hell, hell, hell. You love me so day that make me come to wonder. You love me so day when make me come to think. When that is love not true, when I'm not fake. Good to follow up. How are you? Hi. 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 Jane, what is going on? Huh? I proposed to you two days ago, and you said nothing. Worst of it all, you've been ignoring my calls since then. Jane, don't tell me it's because of that poor dude. Well, I am sorry about that, Collins. Jane, I came back for you. I told you that already. Why are you pushing me away again? That's because I love him. I love Michael. I can't deny that. Michael? That roadside mechanic? An illiterate that did not go to school? Is this, is this a kind of a juju love or what? Come on, Jane. I know you are bigger than this. What attracted you to to him the first place? Huh? That roadside mechanic has nothing to offer. His prospect for a prosperous living is not looking so good. Can't you see that? Please do not call him names. Don't. Because you know absolutely nothing about him. No. You are the one that do not know a shit about him. I know a whole lot about him. I see something in him that no one else sees. And if there's one thing I'm certain about him, is the fact that I really love him. Get that into your head, Collins. Her Majesty. Then you turn your back on me. Prince Ekene has been in tears since morning. I want to try finding out what the problem is. He couldn't speak to me. So where is he now? He's in his room. Okay. What happened to you? What happened to you? 
Daddy, what happens to the care that you show me? What is it? What is the problem? Talk to me, what happened? Dad has completely shut me off school. What do you mean by that? Oh, he seized my car. My, 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 my student ID. I'm even told that they Visi that he doesn't want to see me in school again. What? What happened to you? Excuse me. What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the care that you show me? And the love that we share. What happened to you? What happened to you? It's like I'm lost. I don't get it anymore. Your Majesty, we must not allow Ono to give order in this kingdom. In fact, who gave him the right to attend the royal father's uh, summit when our king is still alive? Your Majesty, this is a disrespect to the throne. And I suggest that that title should be removed from him immediately. All that is true. Even if the notice of the summit was given to him, he ought to have alerted the king. Exactly. I know the circle of men behind all this, and they will fall. They will. The states gave you the recognition as the Igwe of Umucheke. And whoever is planning something different will definitely fail. Exactly. Thank you, my brothers. Uh, those were actually compliments, and uh, I thank you for coming to me. Hmm? Thank you. I appreciate your coming. I have actually spoken with the Commissioner for Chieftaincy Matters, and he ap apologized profusely. Beyond that, I have given a royal proclamation that whoever steps out of line in future will be disciplined, will be severely sanctioned. Bomb. Okay? So that is no problem. I'm equal to the task. Your Majesty, my problem with you is that you take the issues of this kingdom so lightly, and I don't like it. We chose you as our Igwe because you are a wealthy man who does not earn his living just being the king. Your businesses are spread across the left and breadth of this country, and your staff are feeding from your company. All I am saying is that whoever wants to tamper with royalty, should be decisively dealt with. You took the words out of my mouth. That was more or less what, what I just finished saying. This man here, this Igwe, is equal to the task. This is not a monkey Igwe. Anybody that falls out of line will be whipped in line. Either he's whipped in line, or we throw him out. Thank you for coming. I appreciate, I appreciate your coming to let me know. Thank you, we'll be on our way now. We'll be on our way now. Where is this, my uncle? Yeah, thank you, my uncle. Oh. Have As beautiful as ever. <laughs> nice to see you. Your Majesty, 
Ekena is a good boy. I don't know where he assumed this behavior in school. All the same, he's very wrong. But you are not right either. And shutting him out of school. I'm not right. Is all you can say. Anyway, I will do more if I so choose. That boy's attendance in school is of no effect. There is nothing he brings home from school. Absolutely nothing. And I will not continue to keep him there. Your Majesty, please reconsider your decision. I have taken my decision. And it's final. Final. What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the care that you show me? And the love that we share? What happened to you? What? See those portions of land there. The mineral land. Nobody makes monkeys with such. Nobody should tamper with it. Okay. Dad, I was looking for you. problem? Not at all. It's about Kene. I learned to shut him off school. Yes, I did. And I hope you are not here to begin to talk about my reversing the decision. Because not even your mother could do that. Dad, please. The document I asked you to prepare, have you done it? Not yet. Good. Go ahead and prepare that document right away. I'm going to need it tomorrow. Well. My prince, please take things easy on yourself. Please. The king may resign his decision. But is it true you joined the court? I'm sorry. Greetings, Your Majesty. My Queen, lunch is served. Eunice, I am not in the mood for food right now. Hedy has not eaten. Yes, my queen. He looks to be in so much pain. Oh, my queen. He's crying. Yes. He seems to be regretting his actions. And wants to cut ties with the bad boys. But I've been trying to talk to his father. But in his usual way, he wouldn't listen. My queen, of course you know that there's somebody in this world that could touch his mind. Why don't you use her? What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the care that you showed me? And the love that we shared 
What happened to you? What happened to you? Who thinks I'm a guest? Would you go to my bedroom upstairs and get me my phone? Someone tell me what's going on. It feels like I am getting drowned. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you show me? And the love that we share? What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what? Hey, my yellow papa, come here. Come here, they talk to you. Here you they go. The way you command everybody in this palace, as if you are the king. You know, no say that maybe the king for this gate. I be majesty for this gate, so anything where they cross this gate, not my business. Where you they go? The queen sent me on an errand. Yeah. Okay, what you say you may good. Am I supposed to tell you? Ah, you not supposed to tell me. You know the year said that me be your grand majesty for this gate. Huh? Anything where they cross this gate, not my business. They ask me whether I Anyway, uh, I won't make you go play bed for me. Which one is better again? Ah, but you bumu. Hey, you don't know what it be bet for this yet age. Hey. Mr. Noito, tell me now. Uh, I go tell you. I go tell you. See, go Okuka shop. Eh? Tell her Sebek you take this hundred naira to play bet for me. He know the one where they play. But one or more, I don't want Crystal Palace. Because Crystal Palace, they do the lose game. I they would wait self maker worry wolf enter Premier League so that I go feed the win where where those people they not they lose. So make it play better game for me. You dey hear so 47 million now go come from this. That our marriage, you know, so I promise you so I go buy you poche. Eh? <laughs> At the Rose Ross where we go to do our wedding. Now this one, take, go buy him. Go play the game for me. So <laughs> why you gotta laugh like this? With this, this hundred naira, huh? you want to get forty-seven million naira. Hey, you don't know what did happen, no? Many people don't win hundred, 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 hundred millions because of just hundred naira where they take play. Oh, and I tell you, even Ogama Majesty self, by the time I win this team, Namigo can't be proper Ogama Majesty. If to say Ogama Majesty no the house, only me for go go play this team. My two point five, I for win this team now now. Go, 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 go play this thing now. Don't they waste. You don't want our wedding again. Ah. Uh -huh. I wonder why you men and some women stay at home and expect millions to come. So you want to get some 47 million naira from this. Hey. Good luck. I'm going. Hey. This girl, you mumu. Mmm, mm. <laughs> mm. mm. 
is there is this inner inner taste in the sanctum of my mouth that has taken me back 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 to my mother the way my mother prepared it in those days and the way I liked it that's what you have done yeah that's what you usually do <laughs> that's why I say you are my mother come back Regulation. I'm, the... I'm glad you liked it, Father. Honestly, I thought you wouldn't. Ooh, no. You know, school actually took me away from you, and I blame mm. school for that. Mm. But making this delicacy for you and you loving it mm. gladdens my heart. Sister Jen here to thank. You have her to be grateful to. I would have, I would have dealt severely with you. Now open that food and start eating. Go ahead. Go on. Thank you, Dad. Yeah. 
sure why I went to school. I want to see that odious leader of your group. It's alright, Dad. I, I'll try and get in touch with him. Mm. Don't try. Do it. I want to see him today. Fine. I'll, I'll call him. Look at his head. Just like his mother's people. It's not like his father's people are very ugly. Rather from his mother's people are very cute. Mm. Daddy. Why are you eating like that? You don't want to use the cutleries? Cutleries? <laughs> I bet no, I don't. These are what we call global cutleries. <laughs> <laughs> So I've never seen such love that is existing between a father and a daughter, like that of our princess and our king. I mean, how can your wife beg you for something and you refuse, only to agree immediately your daughter comes into it? Well, do you know how we almost slept in the hospital simply because Princess Jean got sick? See, they have a serious bond. As for me, I think the king doesn't love the wife. Period. Because if he does, he would have listened to her in the first place. No, don't say such. I found out that the queen loves Kenny just as the king loves Jane. He has even warned the mother before me to retrace from pampering Kenny. <laughs> and he is not retracing from loving, pampering his daughter, or does he? Eh? So he's one one. <laughs> Seriously, pampering or not is not a reason for Prince Kenny to join school courts. I mean, court guys are mean and wicked. We've lost a number of young boys and girls to cultism. Yes, so. What is the game? He better denounce for me too, because he brings calm to himself. I am sure he will, as soon as the king has warned about that. That's his business. If he, he can wait to her side, no? And for what? Does he consign you? They want to have to assign him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Four hundred thousand naira. Use it and settle. Everything you need to settle. Use it and do whatever that needs to be done. I want this boy out of that your secret society. I sent him to school for many reasons. Joining a secret society is not one of the reasons. <sighs> Your Majesty, I've heard what you said. Though the group wouldn't want to lose him because he's an asset. But because of you, I will do just that. If this man is not enough, if you ever think it's not going to be enough, tell me now. Your Majesty, money will never be enough. Money will never be enough. Maybe because of you. Business is concluded. Consider it sealed.
Yes. Yes. Kenna told me what you did for him. Thank you so much. There's no need to thank me. I did what every loving and responsible father should do for a, a son, right? Yes. I, that's what I do for each and every one of you. I want the best for you. And I'll be willing to fight anything that will threaten your future. Girl, there is something you're not doing right. What is that, Father? Getting involved with premature relationship. Trust me, girl, it's not right for you. I mean, can't you terminate this relationship immediately? Oh, Father, I mean, why should I? I love Michael so much. Besides, he's not standing in the way of my studies. Well, how are you sure he's not getting in the way of your education? You see, this thing is like a vermin, a virus. It kills gradually. I know, Daddy, but certainly not Michael. I've known him for three years, three solid years, and I know how positively he has influenced my life. He's also very loving and caring. Mm. Mm. Three long years. You've known him for three years, and I'm just getting to know about it today. Oh, come on, Jane. No, I'm sorry, Dad. I was just waiting for the right time to tell you. Jane, there is always a right time to start a relationship. That's a fact of life. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Well, I'd like to meet him. Invite him to come and see the family tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Daddy. I will. Everywhere so dark. Oh. Babe. Baby. If you ask me, I think the next uh, or four days will be better. 
because we have to take our time to inform the Umada about this issue. Mm -hmm. It's just about that. I think it's not necessary to invite the Umada. We are men, and we can handle this issue. I don't think there's any need to invite them. Your Majesty, that is my humble opinion. Chief Ilo, it is in line with our tradition to inform the Umada about this issue. I don't know, except you want to change it. Yes. Greetings, sir. Uh, <coughs> Daddy, this is my boyfriend. Michael. Really? Yes. As a matter of fact, he's my fiance. We just got engaged. <gasps> you don't say. <laughs> yes, mommy. Wow, that's beautiful. Congratulations. Thank you, mommy. Uh, <coughs> I'll be right back. Huh? Um, please. Uh, Make him very comfortable, okay? Okay, Dad. Then... Daddy. See me upstairs. Okay, Dad. You're welcome. Thank you. What exactly are you talking about, Dad? Now, don't you ever play on my intelligence. Now, tell me you didn't mean it. Engaged? Are you insane, Jane? What exactly is wrong with you? Father, why are you being so furious? It's not like I'm getting married today or tomorrow. I love him. Now, shut up. And don't you dare talk when I'm talking. Now, listen. Listen very attentively. That thing you have on your finger, that stupid thing, that, that rubbish. Take it out now, go down, return it to him, and then end whatever it is you have going with him right now. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Father. I will do no such thing. What did you say? I won't do it. What's wrong with you? Are you, are you out of your mind? But I'm not out of my mind. Uh, I'm not. Honey, please. Just calm down. Just calm down. Honey, but, please calm down. Now, calm down what? Did you listen to your daughter? Did you listen to her? And listen. Did you look at your daughter's finger? That rubbish she has on her finger. Did you see it? And she has the effrontery to challenge me here. Father, I am not challenging you. I'm only telling you the fact. I love that man. And yes, you're my father. You don't have any right to tell me how to live my life. <laughs> Honey, please. Calm down. Take it easy on her. Calm just down. down. Just calm down. Just, just, just please, please. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> please go downstairs. I think you're guest. I don't want you to do that. You know we have some guests downstairs. I think you come down. Let's just go. I do what? I do what? Now that she has gone down, what has she come to do? Is she removing that rubbish on her finger? Nothing has gone wrong that cannot be fixed at this point. Please take it easy. Just calm down. Everything will be fine. I think you're too hard on her. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love Then you turn your back on me What happened to you? 
Please, we have to leave now. What's wrong? I'm fine as well. Everything is alright, just get up. We'll go now. Please. Jane, what's this all about? You guys just arrived. Yes, bro, I know. I have to talk to you much later about it. Let's go. No. This will not do. She must not leave this compound. Call her back. We need to settle this here and now. My love, not now. Not now, I like you. I can see you're very furious. And I fear for the worst. Let her step out for a while. Let her ease the steam. So that you two can calm down. I beg you. That young man was not to stay around her. My love, just let me. Allow me to handle this. All right. Sure, she comes back to her senses before nightfall. I'll try. Else, else, she will see the ugly side of me. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love Then you turn your back on me What happened to you? What happened to you? You're still not saying anything Papa, what happened to the Honestly, I do not want to talk about anything now I don't want to It seems the news of our engagement didn't go down well with your father I honestly don't care because he can't tell me how to live my life. It's my life we're talking about here. You don't have to be worried. I'll sort things out myself. I'll, I'll fix everything. Don't be scared. And I'm, she has refused to pick her calls. I, I've been calling her. How many times did you call her? How many times now? Okay, call her. Call her. Call her. Call her now. Call her. Yes? No, no, no. She's not picking. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Pick this call. Pick this call. Pick it. Pick it. What's going on? I don't, I don't know. Ask your father. I don't know. Then you will hate me. Then you will hate me. I say you will hate me. Your sister will hate me. Did you hear me? I said your sister will hate me. Listen, listen. Your sister will hate me. Did you hear me? Your sister will hate me. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your. Honestly, Mom, I have not seen this side of that before. Dad is getting me scared. Kenny, your father feels betrayed by his beloved daughter. Above everything, I don't blame him the way he just reacted. That is what you get when you're obsessed with. Someone in love. Of course, nobody should blame that. Jane messed up. How could she accept uh, proposals from that guy in this time? What happens to her education? 
does marriage stop people from going to school? Eh? If she truly loves this guy and he's capable of taking care of her, why would we stop them from, from getting married? Shut up. Say what you know. Jane is a final medical student. You like supporting Jane in whatever she does. She is wrong this time. Admit it. I didn't see anything wrong in what she has done. Her happiness counts. If she's happy getting married to this man, so be it. Shut up. Just shut up. You are annoying. Protoni, don't shut me up again. Are you talking to me like don't that? Shut enough! Up. Enough! I have enough headache already. Look at the way your father was screaming and yelling on top of his voice at me. You two will start? Don't you dare start now. Please. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? Wait a minute. Do you mean that good for nothing proposed to Jane and she accepted? Not only did she accept, she brought him here and introduced him to our dad. And they left here shortly after that. Since then we have not even reached home phone. I don't know what Jane sees in that poor guy. That good for nothing. Do you know what he does for a living? He's a roadside mechanic. What? Are you sure of this? I don't tell tales, bro. I know what I'm talking about. That good for nothing can barely feed himself. So of no use. So, Mazi, did you see the man that brings a jumbo to show the cake? Oh, yes, yes, I see him. I see him. Very fine boy. If you see the boy, <laughs> fine boy. He dashed me 1,000 naira. Yeah. Now I want to play my Arsenal at Chelsea. <laughs> I don't win. <laughs> Are you aware your mother does not have a child at all? What do you mean of that nonsense? You mean that you don't have sense? Moi? Yes. I don't get sense? Yes. We are here talking about something important. You are here talking about odds and debts. May the gods have mercy on you. Now you go to get mercy on. Now you go to get mercy on. Now be the insult. What is my problem? The princess, he don't choose who he love when one marry. Me self, I choose my 2.5 and want to win millions. I could not go choose now. What can I be this? Huh? No worry. Oh. This one where they play so. 94 mil. Now I go win. When I win that man, we could have not carry on now. What face near where I did? Particularly you, you where they toss my man not get picking. God punish you. The only person I could just pity for now, okay. My love. <laughs> when we go marry, eh? American president go come. An American soldier and I go guide us. Don't be on now. The king did not stop her from getting married or making her choice. Rather, he was of the opinion that she must finish her medical education before anyone can come. It's not a bad advice from my father if I must be very open. For once, we now talk like people will get sense. Because Ogan Majesty, I don't know what he, he they do. <laughs> the person say he won't marry. The person will he like. He pick it. So what the concern is where they say, you hey, no go marry, I no go marry. We now get sense more for that area. But no na carry on our whole face from here. <laughs> hey, go, 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 go. Come here. No, no, sir, maybe the Oga Majesty forget you. <laughs> see, uh, you know, see, uh, as I did here, the food one that they give me is too small now. I'm going to go find food for me. You know, see, when I eat well, I could know how to play my 2.5. When I win, I feel change my mind. Hey, just... hey, and now you call. <laughs> so, when are you going to win the money? This one? Mm -hmm. You go see, I'm now. I go so go play and come. When I come, I go give a small thing when I win. First of all, share the one that the man gave to you now. For what? Ah. What's the one share now? Yeah, if I give you what I want to play this to you, I'm gonna carry on our office for you. Idiot. I won't see you. I won't manage, just manage you now. This one will be like a gamma lizard. Idiot! Can you tell me that my, my, my mama not get picky? God punish you, I know if you are. Then I play my. Look, Newcastle, I know they play you. Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool. Princess, how could you commit your future to that wretched thing? Huh? What kind of plans do you have for yourself? I 
thought you were bigger than this. Why that peasant? Collins. You can call me whatever you so please. I do not care. But I beg of you. Do not insult Michael. For you do not know a damn thing about him. You don't. I do not need eternity to know that you have no future with him. Why are you bothered? The future we are talking about here is mine and not yours. So it's best you mind your business and stay off mine. Excuse me. Jane. Stubbornness will do you no good. Stay away from that nigger for your own good. You have a nice day. Welcome. What do you want? Are you Michael? No. Where is Michael? He's not around. Tell him the king wants to see him at the palace immediately. Okay. Good. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you showed me? And the love that we shared? What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happens to the care that you show me and the love that we share? What happened to you? What happened to you? It's like I'm lost. I don't get it anymore. Someone tell me what's going on. It feels like I am getting drowned. You are once a loving father All the love and care you gave me What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love Then you turn your back on me What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you showed me and the love that we share? What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the care that you showed me and the love that we share? Greetings, Your Majesty. What happened to you? What happened to you? Yeah. Are you aware that my daughter is disobeying me for the first time because of you? I'm very sorry, sir. Very sorry. If you truly are, then terminate your engagement, denounce your relationship and return my daughter home.
You won't do that? Tell me what you want. I can meet you halfway if I can't fully. But I want you to stay away from my daughter. With due respect, sir, I did not get involved with your daughter because of your money or your status. I love her. If you truly love her, then you must stay away from her. She's still a medical student and I want her to get the best result. I want her to become the best physician this country has ever produced. She won't be able to do that with your presence around her. I haven't said you may not love my daughter. We can be friends, best of friends as a matter of fact. But you must remember that she is a medical student. A medical student and I want her to pass with the best grades. And I want her to Emerge as the best physician this country has ever produced. Is that hard to understand? Please, sir. I. Young man, I am not always friendly with strangers. In fact, I can be ruthless. Now, mark these words. I will never let anything come between my daughter and her education. Do I make myself clear? Do I? Yes, Your Majesty. Get out! Thank you, Your Majesty. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you showed me? And the love that we share What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the care that you showed me? And the love that we share What happened to you? What happened to you? It's like I'm lost I don't get it anymore Someone tell me what's going on It feels like I am getting drowned You are once a loving father all the love and care you gave me, what happened to you? I don't get money where I go to play my bet. Don't yeah. worry. Go and move your hand, Chris. I will see. I will see. Take her from here. I will see with you. Oh. Huh? 
Make me share this. Share the share money equal. Share, uh, share with and give all share of us. Now Idiot. But wait, too. Why are you this lucky? Do that day this man came, he gave you money. Hmm? Today again, he gave you money. Are you the only one in this compound? Yes. Now let me date this compound. See yourself. Your head not get oil. You know what I say? My head get oil. My second name now lucky. If you don't know. Eh. Hey. This uh, one get to be a gamma lizard. Now you talk say my man not born picky, Abi. Good. You see yourself? Since when I small, now they get luck. Don't worry. When I could use this thing, then knock the bet, eh? <laughs> 97 mil. 97 million I go get. When I get a man, all of them I go come, they serve me here because I go be your God majesty for my kingdom. See yourself? Idiot. So you have money to come out from here before come I... Come yeah, give us our share. I'm going to use it and play bets. I give us our share. Think I tell you, you know, tell you, who share? You tell them what they give me. Mona! I will. When I go back to myself, I will. Say this guy crow, you still talk. So they don't worry you. Idiot. No, come on, let me see you. You are once a loving father. Oh, the... I do not understand. No, hey, shut up. I'll listen up. I have no time with you. Are you aware of the gravity of the damage you are about to inflict into Jane's life? And what the hell are you doing with Jane? Tell me. Oh, you got nerves. Uh -huh. I see. <laughs> I hope you will be able to stand me when the time comes. Hmm? I do not know how you got into her life, but I want you to know that I have known her for years. Did you get it? And I know the relationship she shares with her family, and that bond is what you are about to destroy, but I will not allow you. Did you get that? I'm not scared of you. You cannot warn me. I'm not afraid of anybody. I see. Who are you? I see. Be careful. Jane is my woman. I will not allow you to trade in our life. Did you get what I said? Stay clear from her. If you have any feeling for Jane, just tell her to go back to her family and stay away from her. I will not warn you again. Stay away from her. I think you should reconsider this your engagement with Michael. Why would you say a thing like that? You know how much I love Michael. I know and I am not disputing that fact. But don't you think of the damage it will do to the cordial relationship you have with your father? Well, it's my father's fault. What would you have me do? My father doesn't care about any other person but himself. He's so inconsiderate about my wishes and demand. And I don't like that. I want to be free from his influence. Oluchi, I am a princess. But people hardly know that I am. That is my life. I just want to be free. Every life devoid of his control and imposition of views. I mean, is that too much for me to ask? Jane, this is not about you and your father. It has to do with other people. Okay. Today, I saw Collins confronting Michael because of you. And you know how dangerous that guy can be. Right now, I think Michael's life might be in danger. What? Yes. What? What did you just say? Collins. Baby. Why did you confront my fiance? Oh. He told you that? Come on, that dude is incredible. Answer my question. Why did you have to confront my fiance? For what reason? 
Duelo. I baby. Okay. Don't touch him. Do not. Okay. I did not beat him. I just had a man-to-man -man chat with him. Come on, it's not a big deal, okay? Did he actually tell you that? No, he didn't. You know why? Because he's a gentleman. A gentleman that sorts his way out without talking too much. But that doesn't make him too soft as you think. Mm. That sounds impressive. Leave us alone. Leave us be. I mean, what is wrong with you? I've told you times with that number that I am engaged to this man. I love him. He's going to be my husband. Let us be. No. Did you hear what I said? I said no. I will not allow him marry you. I will stop that from happening. Mm -hmm. Did you get it? Yes. I love you. And I cannot stand to contest anyone coming close to you. Not even a nameless thing. Nameless, you say? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's very, very easy for you to say because you think you have achieved a lot for yourself. You are nobody, Collins. What are you? I mean, what do you think you are outside Senator Ken's dynasty? Absolutely nothing. What pride and prestige have you outside your father's success? Apart from this thing, this thing you call a boutique. What else do you think you have? Hey, 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 I, I am here to warn you for the very last time. Stay away from us. Stay away from my relationship. Stay away from my life. Leave us be, for crying out loud. I am taken. Get that into your head. Please. Did you say that to me? You said that to me, right? I will show him how to dance the music. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you showed me? And the love that we shared? What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the care that you showed me? And the love that we shared? What happened to you? What happened to you? It's like I'm lost. I don't get it anymore. Someone tell me what's going on. It feels like I am getting drowned. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you showed me? And the love that we share. What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the kid? Hello, bro. 
I am fine. I'm alright. Are you? Okay, what of Jane? Jane? Not at all. She's not been here since she left with you. Hope all is well. Um, yes, yes. All is well. All is well. Uh, actually, she stepped out of the house a couple of hours ago and I even thought she will be with you guys. No, she's not here. Okay, maybe she'll stop by to see a friend. Alright, later then. Bye. Jane with you? Oh, no, no, no. I haven't seen her today. Hey. Hey, what's going on? I've been calling her. I've not been able to reach her. Oh my God, what's going on? What's going on? Michael, calm down. What's wrong? I don't know. I don't know. She called me around 5 p.m. and said she was leaving school. And she'll be back in about 30 minutes. It's past 8 now. I've not seen her. I don't know where she is. Did you try to find out if she went to her family's house? Oh yes, I, I spoke with Kenne a few minutes ago. Kenne said she, she's not at home. Hey, Oluchi, I'm scared, I'm scared. This is serious. Did you guys fight? No, we did not fight. I told you she called me, everything is okay. She called me by 5 p.m., said she was coming back. I've not seen her. <sighs> <sighs> This is serious. Um, okay, um, Michael, you know what? Just calm down. Calm down, okay? Jane, okay, I, I believe she should be somewhere and I think she's okay wherever she is right now. So, just relax your mind. Okay? Don't get yourself worked up, please. Just relax your mind. Hey, all right, all right, fine, fine. Thank you, huh? Alpha. Uh, hey, I was even calling to know if she came back to uh, you people's place. She's not here. She's not back. Oh my God, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. But I, I believe she's fine wherever she is. Okay, she's fine. See, for now, don't say anything to anybody. Okay, I'll step out right now and go and start searching for her. I'll search everywhere, anywhere at all I can think of. I'll start from her school. It's possible she spent the night in a friend's place. Huh? Don't panic. I believe she'll be fine. I will. I will. Don't worry. I'm leaving right now. What is going on? My queen, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know how to say this, but I think Jane is missing. No, no, I don't, I don't understand. How do you mean by Jane is missing? Last time, last time I spoke with her was yesterday. 
She called me, said she was coming back home around 5 p.m. From that time till now, I've not seen her. I've been calling her, her phone is switched off. I don't, in fact, I've even gone to all the places that she goes to. I've called her friends. No sign of her. I don't know what to do. about where is my daughter where is my daughter no my queen that's why i'm here ah. yeah. ah. oh. what am i hearing here oh. what am i hearing oh. eh? what am i hearing you to talk about where's my daughter are you now deaf and dumb now listen i'm going to Carve you into two, slice you into two, then slice off your head. Now, my friend, will you come out? Come out here. Where are you going to? Where is my daughter? What is happening? What is happening? You know, just to calm down. Just calm down. How can I calm down? We are talking about my daughter here. You don't know where your daughter is. This young man does not know where my daughter is. Where is my daughter? Where is my daughter? Where? Calm down. down. What? What are you telling me? Calm down. How? Look at this one. It's not saying anything. Now, I'm asking for my daughter. I'm asking for my daughter. Why is everybody not talking? I'm talking about your own sister. And where is your other boy? What are you doing here? Go, 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 go. Hey, 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 hey. Michael, what do we do? How do we find Jane? Lolo, I can't here. You didn't ask me now, did you ask me? We're talking about Jane, it's not even here, please. Where is he? Where, where can we find her? Also, where we, I didn't tell you he was around. Where do we find Jane? How do you know two one mother and one Igwe now? Scream, no one here will ever hear you. Do I make myself clear? Shh, easy. Okay, easy, easy, easy. Okay. Eat. Eat. What have I done to you people? Why are you doing this to me? Why have you helped me here? Who sent you? Hey! No question. Eat! I'm not hungry. And that will be your headache. Because we're doing just as instructed. Okay? Instructed? By who, please? Eat! Don't hear what I said. No question. Eat! I'm not hungry. If you don't want to chop, come on, chop that food. What's wrong with you? I'm not hungry. I want to go. You want to go? Go ahead and eat your food. <laughs> Please let me go. Any more words from you? <laughs> Please let me go. What really happened? Did you guys fight? No. We didn't fight. 
I've known Jane for uh, some time now. I, I love her. We've not had any issues. She called me yesterday around 5 p.m. and said she was coming back home. Since then, I've not heard from her till now. No. Did you have any issue with anybody you believe might be behind this? No. I, I've been thinking. You know, I'm a very peaceful person. You know, I've just been thinking. No, I've, I've been asking myself, where could she be? I've checked all the places that she could have gone to. I've not seen her. I'm, I'm so confused and scared. You should have just listened when Daddy asked you to stay away from Jane. But come to think of it, how did you even think you can marry a girl against her father's will? You don't have my father's support, neither do you have mine. And you can never have mine. Tell me, my father and I will have divergent uh, temperament. He might forgive you, but I will never forgive you for coming between our only sister and the whole entire family. You better start leaving before Dad finds out you're still in the palace. No problem. Have a nice day. Honey, what do we do? Do we make a formal report to the police at this point? <laughs> But what must have happened to her? Whatever that happened must be from that boy. I warned him to stay away from my daughter, but he refused. Now I will skin him alive if anything happens to my daughter. My love, it hasn't come to this at this point. No, it's not a time for this. Let us find Jane first. Then the other thing can follow. Could this be a kidnap or something? Why have they contacted us yet? Wait. Is it possible that Tiger and his boys are responsible for this? My father loves me. He loves me well, well. I say he came for me. He loved me well, well. Your daughter? Your Majesty, that's not our doing. We have no reason to abduct your daughter. Why should we? So, you do not know the whereabouts of my daughter. Your Majesty, I can swear with my life. I don't know her whereabouts. Your Majesty, we have no reason to go against any member of your family. We parted mutually with your son. Remember, you paid us handsomely. And everything has been forgotten. behind this. Your Majesty, we need to unravel this. And I can be of assistance if you want me to.
told you guys to make her comfortable, didn't I? Yes, you did. But you see, she's very stubborn and we've tried making her to eat and... Until now... I'll tie her now. Okay, boss. Fast about it. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Collins, you did this to me. Uh, I'm sorry. My boys, they are crazy. I told them to make you comfortable enough. <laughs> Do not play smart with me. Why did you adopt me? Adopt you? I did not. Why will I adopt the only woman I love? Hmm? Why will I adopt my angel? The only woman I love in this whole wide world. Why will I adopt her? I did not adopt you. I only, um, I brought you here for us to talk. For us to sit, fork, and iron things out. Because I tried doing that before, but you refused me the opportunity. What nonsense are you talking about? Uh, babe. I see no reason you're putting up with that present. Oh, yes. It's not good for you. I don't want you to continue with him. I don't want him near you. Did you get it? You know how much I feel for you. Let go. You think my father will ever forgive you for doing this? His majesty. His majesty will understand. He will understand that I'm just trying to protect you. I love you. You disgust me. I know. Take your hands off me. You're driving me insane. Oh, yes. I want to go home. I want to go home. You're driving me insane. You know how much I love you. I want to go home. Leave that poor boy alone and we will be happy. No. You're not treating me well. I want to go home. Don't touch me! Sir? Where are you? Good oil. Pretend that this never happened. Baby, I didn't go through this trouble to pretend that this never happened. Huh? So what exactly do you want from me? I told you that already. I want you to give me assurance. Assure me that you are going to end things with that roadside mechanic. Assure me that you're going to be my own forever. That's all I want from you. You have lived in America for quite a while now. And you must have been deceived with their movies where love comes through kidnap. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you, honey. It doesn't happen in this part of the world. Not around here. And certainly not with me. Jane, please. Please what? Collins, are you letting me go or not? Are you? Okay. 
I will let you go. But I want you to have one thing in mind. If you keep on rejecting me because of that idiot, I cannot guarantee his safety. What? Give me loud and clear. I don't want the king to know that you're here. He is so pissed right now. And I don't know what he might do in that state of mind. Have you heard from my daughter? No. Well, I've reported to the police. Oh, we do have done the same thing. No news no yet. News. Until now. Hey. Yeah. Michael, huh? I've been meaning to ask you this. Do you have any idea of who might be behind this? Or does Jane have issue with anyone or something? No. No. She's not a troublesome person. I don't know. Hey, my love. What have you been? What, what, what happened to you? I've been calling you. It hasn't been reachable. I had to go to the house. When I got there, I saw no one. I, I called Oluchi and she said you came here. What happened? I think I left my phone at home. What happened to you? What, what, what? I've been so worried about you. Where have you been? What happened? Like you care. My darling, I care so much about you. You don't. If you care about me so much, you wouldn't have allowed father to send me out of this house because I followed my heart. No. I can tell her I care so much about you. I missed you so much. Greetings, oh. my Jen, let's talk inside. There's absolutely nothing to talk about, Father. Nothing. Michael, let's go. Jen, I said let's talk inside. Don't let me repeat myself. For, for medicine and then you went ahead and chose science subjects in secondary school. I recall those days each time I came back from work you would rush to me. You would rush to daddy and Give me an almost professional massage. And you would call your mother and say, get paracetamol for daddy. I miss those years, my daughter. Then, then, 
for your culinary prowess. You, you, you prepared delicious dishes, especially Isiewu. Your Isiewu was so delicious, so tasty that, oh, you sent me back, back to the years with my mother when she prepared those dishes exactly the way I wanted them. That's what you did, girl. And, and I saw that you were my mother's reincarnation. And Joe, I lavished love on you. Even when your siblings envied you, I loved you the more. Mm -hmm. I wanted the best, the best for my angel. The day you were born, was the same day the community gathered together and made me their king. And the next day, the next day, my goods that were seized by customs and kept in their store for several years, for many years, were suddenly released. You brought luck to this man. You're a child that came with luck, with fortune, with wealth. That's why when you chose to study medicine, I said, yes. I will train you to the highest point of your education. Jane. Father. What happened to those dreams? Those lofty dreams? Nothing. Nothing happened to any of my dreams, Father. I just stepped into my finals, and you know about that already. So, what are you really talking about, Father? Did you know that you were at the critical point of your education when you went and got engaged to that young man? How would you concentrate on your studies? How? Father, it's in no way affecting my studies. I'm still very focused. Hmm. Yeah. It's already affecting it. Jane, everything you worked for this six years, everything is going down the drain because of this young man. No, Father. Father, that's not true. I mean, you're the one dragging this. You are the one making a mountain out of a molehill, father. I mean, yes, I got engaged to Michael. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we're getting married today or tomorrow. Jen, I think you're talking about a dash. I am your father. I know these things. Jen, what I see as your father setting, you cannot see even when you climb the highest mountain, Everest. You can't see it. Then I want you to disengage from this young man, terminate your relationship, return home and face your studies. I'm, I'm sorry, Dad. 
relationship with this young man now. It will really be hard, Father. I'm sorry if I'm disappointing you, but I can't. I can't. No, no, look me in the face. Tell me you can't. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Father. I'm sorry. Take your luggage inside, I no, beg you. Mommy, I am not taking my luggage inside. I am leaving. Let, 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 let's not drag it, I beg you. Just take it inside, my daughter, for my sake. Please. Thought they said you were missing. And where are you going with your bag? Jim, please. Can Mom, I, okay, do I carry it inside? I am leaving this palace. I am. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Excuse me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the kid that you showed me? And the love that we showed. Do you know Lola? Here yeah, you go now, you won't evaporate from the copper. What's the meaning of this rubbish? Get out of my sight. Get out! Get out! Wait, wait! Get out! Get out! It feels like I am getting drowned. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened? What? Collins kidnapped you? Yes, he did. But please, do not make a fuse about it. What are you talking about? He didn't harm me. So? So if he didn't harm you, I should just let it go? No way! I, I never said you should do that, but you have to calm down. I resolved not to tell you about this, but since I've already told you, I don't want you to make trouble with him, what please. Are, what are you talking about? I should just let it go? If I do that, he'll do something worse tomorrow. No, he wouldn't. I mean, since he has already dawned on him that he will never get what he wants from me. He will never. Please. And what does he even want? <sighs> Crazy. The fool actually kidnapped me because he said I haven't been giving him a listening ear. So he wanted to persuade me to leave you for him. To leave me? Yes. It's a psycho. It's crazy. It's a psycho. I'm telling you, pathetic swine. I don't even know how you got involved with such a man in the first place. It's okay. Please, um, um, just listen to me, okay? Okay, let's just be fine. 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 Just because of you, I'll let it go. I also hope you're right by saying he won't do it again. No, he won't. I'm telling you, he won't. Sorry. Okay? Let's just plan for something better. 
Our major problem right now is your father. Yeah. How do we convince him to see things our way? It's my father. I don't know. I don't even know. Maybe we should go for plan B. Plan B? Yeah. What's plan B? Your Majesty, you have to take it easy with the children of this generation. Do they even listen to advice? <laughs> My name. Do I even know what to do again? Huh? Am I going to call, call out the army to enforce whatever I want? I've exhausted myself. Look at it. A daughter I sent to school. Medical school for that matter. Training her, paying for her school fees. I'm even waiting for her to finish so that she will be flown to the UK to do a specialist course. I was waiting for her to finish and come back to set up a hospital. I've already mapped out the area. Mapped out the place I will set up the specialist hospital for her. Nenim Lemutosaiko, look at me. Look at specialist hospital. Your Majesty, you are lucky yours is from this region. Mine got hooked up with someone as far, far, far as the north. And all I did fell on deaf ears. I almost killed her if not for her mother. Today she has two kids for her so-called lover. And I have forgotten all about her. Your Majesty, what I am trying to say is uh, if you have done your best, and nothing seems to work. You just have to let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Greetings, Ichi Samantha. My queen. Your majesty, food is served. Why is it that when a man has set himself to discuss something, something of import, you must come up with this your eating thing. Ah, what is food? I don't want to eat. My husband, all I am saying is that you should try and eat something before you fall sick. No matter how little. Why don't you let me decide on falling sick? Yes. I'm not eating. Why don't you let me finish what I am discussing? Go, I'm not eating. Your Majesty, I think she, she was right. To go and eat. Of course she, she was right. I didn't say she wasn't right. We all have our own rights. She was right. Within her own rights. Yes. To talk about food. I was right within my own rights. To refuse to eat. Ah, we are discussing something important. Your Majesty, the food is important as well. Huh? It is important as well. You love me. 
I don't know what else to do. He has been like this ever since Jane left this house. I don't know what else to do to calm him down. The best solution is to bring Jane back home. But come to think of it, why is Michael trying to tear this family apart? Because obviously he's the cause of all this. I think I have to confront that young man. I forbid you from even thinking about it. You would do no such thing, young man. Mom? Don't tell me you're taking sides with him. Tony, I am not taking sides with anyone. Just that I'm not happy that uh, Jane accepted his marriage proposal now. But you know, there's nothing anyone can do about it. Or do you want to force her to break up with the man she loves? He makes her happy. She's happy with him. And her happiness is paramount to me now. And what happens to that happiness? How long will that happiness last? Do you know what that guy does for a living? What if he cannot take care of her tomorrow? What happens to the happiness? Tony. Michael can well take good care of Jane. Trust me. Oh, Mom. I guess you know Michael pretty well. Mm -hmm. I do know him. I've known him for about three years now. He's a young man with vision. You can call him a roadside mechanic. But trust me, he is good at what he does. You should even thank God that he has something to wear. There's something Jane sees in that young man. I just pray and wish your father was the same and give them his blessing. After avoiding us for three whole weeks, you finally decided to return. Well, that's not bad. So, tell me, what changed? Nothing has changed, obviously. She's still putting on the ring. How long do you think you can put up this fight? I am not fighting with anybody. No one at all. You are the one making this seem as if it's a big deal. Bottom line is that I have chosen the man I want to spend the rest of my life with. And there is nothing anyone can do about it. I mean, absolutely nothing. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Dead serious. Well, that's not it. I... I also came here to let you people know that. I have taken it. What? What? I am pregnant. That's a joke, right? Why would I joke with such? Well, if you think I'm lying, you can confirm from the family's doctor. No, Jen, I don't think you're serious. Honestly, Jen, you are incredible. You mean you went ahead and got pregnant and missed all these issues? Jane is crazy. You've completely lost it. You forgot to be a princess in this kingdom? Well, you seem not to know who your father is until he hears this. Well, I've not come here for that, bro. I really haven't come here for that. I've only come here to tell you people the situation of things in my life. Mom, your daughter is very happy where she is. I am so contented with my relationship. Please, you people should not interfere. Allow me to be happy with my man. Please. Nice like that. Yes, Jane, Jane. Like that. See that? What is this? No, what just happened? You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? 
my offense Asking to be with the one I love Then you turn your back on me Jen You think that by getting yourself pregnant You will weaken my resolve You think so? Well, you have another thing coming. And the love that we share. What happened to you? What happened to you? It's like I'm lost. I don't get it anymore. Someone tell me what's going on. It feels like I am getting drowned You are once a loving father All the love and care you gave me What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love Then you turn your back on me What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you showed me? And the love that we share? What happened to you? Listen attentively. There are two things that must be done immediately. One, terminate my daughter's weekly allowance. With. Then two, all her company shares are hereby embargoed. In fact, put all of them up for sale immediately. Now stop asking stupid questions. Don't ask questions about what you know nothing about. Do as you're told. You love me so day will make me come the thing go. Whether this love not true, whether not fake go, whether this love not genuine no, whether not fraud no. Oh yeah, I, oh yeah, I, oh yeah, I, oh yeah. I, oh yeah. They tell me father's love is very Come on, pick up your call. And they tell me fathers can do anything for the adults. Pick your call. Me to be with the one I love. Pick your call, pick love your call, pick your call. I want to I so I can't be natural. Oh yeah. So I can't be natural. Oh yeah. Good morning, sir. Yes, morning, Jane. You're welcome. How are you today? All right, sir. I sent for you because of the disturbing complaint your father made about you. Well, I'm so sorry, sir. I do not want to discuss that right now. Yes. <laughs> yes, I, I think there is no need to doubt anymore. I'm not going to ask you who did what and what you did. But you see, I want you to go home and mend fences with your father. Just make peace with him for he threatened to remove you from the school and also said he will cut you off all financial bills and that I do not wish for you. Well, my father can go ahead and do whatever he wants. He can cut off all the financial benefits I get from him as a daughter. But he cannot remove you from this school because this school is not owned by him. Besides, 
I haven't done anything to violate the rules and regulations of the school to deserve that. I haven't. Is that what you think? I want to assure you that I know how to handle stubborn kids. And I do not desire you to be one of such children because I do not see you so. It's like you really do not know your father pretty well. For if you do, you won't be saying what you're not. He has every power to stop you from this school because nobody can stop him. And I must remind you, you are in your final year. You need concentration. You, need, you do not need all these kind of distractions here and there. This is not the time for that. What I expect you to be able to do now is face your studies, concentrate fully and see how you come out of school. The surgery department of medicine that you dream of daily needs concentration. And come to think of it, I must also affirm it to you that your father has all it takes to cut you off your studies in the school. Be very, very careful. I do not wish that for you. Thank you. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you showed me? And the love that you shared? What happened to you? You okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. You're not fine. You're mm, crying. I'm what, all right. What's wrong? Oh, you're crying. What's wrong? My father has cut off every financial benefits I received from him. He even took the car he bought for me on my last year birthday. Now he has instructed the VC to remove me from school and he's ready to grant that wish. You I am financially handicapped. I have nothing with me. I don't know what I've done wrong to my father to deserve this. I don't know. I don't just know. What happened to you? My is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what? Good afternoon, sir. Uh, sir. Sir, this nose is not good though. The nose is not good, honestly. Eh? The nozzles? Yeah. Uh, uh, it's not a problem now. Bring out all of them and clean them. Get an uh, injector cleaner. Eh? Okay, sir. If we don't have, tell a maker to bring. No problem, sir. Uh -huh. Okay. Sir. How is it going? Sir, this thing is not working. Let me see. My car, I'm going. Huh? This one is bad. I'll take it. It's bad. Tell a maker to bring it. Let him bring this. Uh, New one. Uh, brand new, brand new, brand new. Good afternoon, sir. Uh -huh, welcome, Carol. Fine, sir. Yeah. Okay. Sir, uh, uh, the landlord came here. He says you, you should vacate this premise. I should vacate this premise? Yes, sir. Look ah. how the papers he brought. I'm not a bamba. Quit notice. You cannot give me quick notice now. I'm not owing uh, him. I'm not owing him. My rent has not even expired. Um, maybe you should call him and see his reasons. I don't know why that man would do such a thing. I mean, wh why would that man do such a thing? Why? Since I moved into that property and started working there, we've not had any issues. Never. 
How can he just wake up one morning and ask me to leave? Something is wrong somewhere. Something is wrong. Something is not just right with what you just said. Are you sure my father is not behind this? Yes. I'm sure he must have bought that building over. No, that's not possible. My love, you don't have to doubt me. I know my father and I know what he's capable of doing. He's trying so hard to frustrate me. Huh. I, I'm really sure he's behind this. You are was a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you showed me? And the love that we shared? What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the care that you showed me? And the love that we share What happened to you? What happened to you? It's like I'm lost I don't get it anymore Someone tell me what's going on What are you doing here? Answer me! Why are you doing this? What do you intend to achieve with all those things you're doing? Why? What have I done to you, Father? What are you talking about? Oh, is it about the money and the car? Why should you still continue to enjoy such privileges from me, knowing that you're no longer my daughter? I am not talking about your car. Neither am I talking about the money. Because I know full well that I can survive without any of your financial assistance. I'm talking about Michael. Why are you dragging him into this? What has he done wrong to you? What? Why do you have to chase him away from his shop? Father, I still don't know why you're doing this to me. So you can survive without financial benefits, financial support from me. Is that so? Is that what you came to tell me? All right. Prof. Sugo Chukwu, it's me. I am no longer responsible for Jane's school fees. Yes. My hands are off. Take her out of that school. After all, I was responsible for her coming into the school. I engineered her going into the medical school. So I want her out. I shall be calling her HOD immediately after this. Oh, don't worry. Thank you very much. As for that idiot you call Michael, he is the reason for your coming to challenge your father now. And he is the reason you're about to destroy your life. That young man took something from me and will not relent until I run him out. Yes. The drums of the war have just begun and I am ready. Let's see how you're going to finish. Finish your school. Finish your medical school. Look. You have to open your leg. And you got pregnant. And you had to come in here. You had the temerity to announce it. Right here in this box. Huh? Yes. You fail to understand one thing, Father. What is it? You are not my God. 
You are not God and you cannot decide our faith. You can't. You can do anything you so please, but you cannot determine my future. Michael hasn't done anything wrong to you. The only thing that young man has done is to love your daughter, that's all. He hasn't done anything to you. Terminating my schooling, destroying my future, and calling the VC of my school will not make me change my mind. I love Michael so much, and I can never change my decision. Is that so? All right. All right, we shall see. We shall see. What happened to you? We shall see! What is the meaning of this? Hey, get up, get up, get up! Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the kid? Why should the king terminate everything on her? He stopped where she got allowances, and now he has called the vice chancellor to sack her from the school. What did she do? <laughs> if Anna stop supporting evil, oh. ah, forget the fact that you and Nelly are close to the princess, but we must call a spade a spade. Your father, who is a king and is well known in the society, said, I don't want this for now. And she's proving to be stubborn. Is that one fair? Let's be careful. We cannot be silly because we are privileged to come from a wealthy home and let it get into our head. Please, Ogi, stop saying nonsense about the princess. She is not proud. She is not stubborn or arrogant. If she is arrogant, why would she have this problem now she is having with her father? If she is proud, why would she be having anything to do with a roadside mechanic? Having pursued her degree in mercy. Please, let's don't blame her. He who wears the shoe knows where it pitches. Please. And the king said, no, I don't want this. Why is it so hard for her to do? I wonder. Finish your school, get your certificate. Yes. Marriage is not running away. Okay. One thing I love about the king is that he made his word so open that we all know who is at fault here. As for me, my father is poor, but I can never disobey him if I want to get married tomorrow and he oppose it. So why will I be arguing over it? Why will I be arguing with him? There is no father or mother that will lead a child as trained. So why are we arguing over it? <laughs> and the next one is that she's pregnant. Was that one good too? I heard that too. <laughs> I'm not in support. She shouldn't have done it. That must probably be a mistake. Oh. Or they did it to weaken the king. <laughs> but Chiru, what will be their fate? <laughs> now again, Aju, that's a very good question. <laughs> There's nothing wrong. It's love. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's Let's leave the argument. It's okay. It's ah. like. Jane in such situation. What, what, what are you talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? Hey, shut up and do not play smart with me. I did warn Jane about you, but I did not know the spell you used on her. Now she's doomed. She's into a situation and she does not even have anyone to run to. Do you know the situation you put her into? Huh? What situation? Did she tell you to speak for her? Did she run to you for help? What the, don't you even I have to Hey! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Shut up. Sorry, sorry. Shut up. Sorry. 
It has not gotten to this. Now go down. I told you. I want you, right? I want you, right? We have not gotten to this. this. Huh? This. I will blow off your head now. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Baby, I'm so sorry I'm making you go through all this. The worst is that my father has called the VC to terminate my education. I don't even know what to do now. I cannot lose that after so many years in school. My love, calm down. Okay? You will not lose out. And stop blaming yourself. You've done nothing. It's all my fault. Believe me. I'm the one who's putting you through all this. But I want you to know this. The best your father can do is to stop paying your bills and financing your education. He cannot stop you from going to class. So calm down. I am not okay because my father never understands. He doesn't want to listen to me. He doesn't want to calm down and listen to my own explanation. I don't know what I've done wrong to him. Oh, nothing is happening to you, my love. Nothing. You only fell in love with a poor, helpless guy who is still struggling to, you know, find his feet. And for that, I appreciate you so much. And I'll not take it for granted, okay? I'll always love you, I promise you that. But you've done nothing wrong. I love you too. I love you more. I love you more. And I promise you I'll work hard, okay? Forget what your father is doing, you're an adult. I'm an adult. I'll work hard. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I take very good care of you and you'll not regret your decision. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you so much for this new day for me. You'll get through it. I was a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense, asking to be with the one I love Then you turn your back on me What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you showed me? And the love that we shared What happened? Greetings, your majesty Ikukoma one of Umucheke Kingdom. I greet you, Your Imperial Majesty. Aluji, come. <laughs> your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Aluji, I thought you were a friend of this family. Why did you fail this family? Your Majesty, I tried, but I failed to a deaf ear. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me when, when the relationship was, was still growing? When it was still flowering, building up? when the relationship was budding. Your Majesty, I didn't know it will get to this. Besides, Jane never tells me anything. She was never open to me. Are you aware that she is pregnant? Yes, Your Majesty. Aluchuku. Your Majesty. Can you disobey your parents like she did? Can you? No, Your Majesty. But. 
come to plead on her behalf. Please, Your Majesty, allow her to finish her school. We are almost ending it. Please. Your Majesty. We have talked. Get up. Your Majesty. Get up. You may go. Your Majesty. You are once a loving father All the love and care you gave me What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love Then you turn your back on me What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you showed me and the love that we share? What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the Mom. care that you showed me and the love that we share? What happened to you? Michael! What happened to you? Hello? Hold on, please. Hello, Michael. Really? What? It feels like I am getting drowned. Are you serious? Oh, my goodness, thank goodness. Oh, that's wonderful. This is beautiful news. <laughs> My regards to her. So, how is she? She's good. <laughs> God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Bye, bye. I'll come over to see you guys, all right? You take care. Congratulations once more. <laughs> bye. Well, Jane? Jane has been delivered a beautiful baby girl. You are now <laughs> an uncle with a little niece. And ah. my other grandmother. Congratulations <laughs> to her. God, thank you, thank you, thank you. What's the excitement for? Jane just delivered a bouncing baby girl. Wow. Yeah. I am the latest grandmother in town. And I shall be going over to see my granddaughter. I forbid you. Any day you step out of this palace to go see that child, don't dream of returning. Remain there. That goes for both of you. I don't want that child spoken about in this palace. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened? To you? <laughs> what a delicate, beautiful baby. Mm -hmm. She looks so much like her father. Don't even say that. I said my it. baby looks like me. Even the father knows that. See Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> what 
everybody is saying is right. We take a good look at her. Make good don't know one and one. Maybe it looks like me. <laughs> okay. In that case, I think uh, she looks like her uncle. Black <laughs> uncle. You as well. My nose and my eyes. Hey, I saw my boy in Mommy, I can't thank you enough for coming through. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mom. Thank you. Oh, baby. She's looking for water. Oh, so, so, Jane, you didn't thank me for coming. I don't have your time. I will not come again. I don't have your time. Mom, tell her I will not come again. I will not come again. Mike, I must confess, you are quite an interesting guy. Regardless of everything my father did to frustrate you, you stood strong and tall. I admire that. I believe Jane definitely saw something in you that my father could not see. Thank you for the compliment. You're welcome. You're welcome. So how's the king? He's fine. He's very fine. He's there. Uh, just that for some time now, he has not been relating with Tony on Jen's case. But if somebody like Collins could give up, I believe someday they will. They will too, yes. Speaking about Collins, how is he? Um, the young man has gone back to the U.S. Losing Jen was a very big shock to him. He never thought Jen could on a young man like him down. But she did. She did. Come to think of it, that guy really loved and cared about Jane. Yes. He was ready to do anything. I mean, everything to make her happy. The boutique was opened for Jane. But when he saw that Jane was not serious with him, he had to close it down and flee back to the U.S. Mike. Jane has really sacrificed a lot for you. I hope you continue to make her happy. Jane means the world to me. In fact, she means everything. I cannot trade her for anything in the world. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks. Mom, how is that? He's fine. Dean, are you for real? You mean you still care about your father? After all these difficulties. Mommy, why won't I care about him? He's still my father. I think I'm the one that really disappointed Dad. Regardless of the fact that he did not accept the man I chose to be my life partner. But then, Mommy, he really expected so much from me. So much. And I failed him. I understand his anger, honestly. I do. Jane, how did you feel him? What is the disappointment? What you have is what every woman dreams about. A loving husband that adores you. A beautiful child. Look at how beautiful and adorable your daughter looks. In fact, if you ask me, you just went after your heart. You went after your dream. And it shouldn't be key good for that. Alright? One of these days I think you should pay him a visit. Come with the baby. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come with your daughter. 
maybe the sight of the grandchild that he's seeing may melt his heart. Trust me. That is a desire, the secret desire of every parent to have a grandchild. It's all right. Pochu. Hey, baby. Has Miracle slept? Yes, she has. Mm. You should get some sleep too. I will only go to bed when you're ready. We'll go together. Aha, mm. uh -huh, that reminds me, my love. Mm. What do you think about what mommy suggested? What, what? Do you think I should do it? Going back? Oh, uh, about you going home? Yeah. I think it's the right thing to do. I could do the magic. Alright, I'll give it a try. Okay, baby. Yeah. Let's go. Oh! Oh! Come on, Let's go! Oh! oh. 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 Tell you I carried her like this years ago. Miracle, tell her that your mother was never this small. She was born this big. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Hmm? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Let me check.
Pase, baby. Yunis. Your Majesty. Who gave birth to a baby in this palace? Your Majesty, it's, it's, um, it's just Your Majesty. Ah. Ah. You. You. Your Majesty, please. Now, one more word from you, and I will slice off that head. You will get out of here now. You will walk out of this palace. And if you get out, don't ever, ever dream of returning. Do I make myself clear? Don't leave. I will most decidedly deal with you. Now leave. Guards! Your Majesty! Guards! Your Majesty, please! please. Come on! Yes. Take her out of this place! Move her! Are you pleading with her? Your Majesty, please, please. Now get inside! Get inside now! This minute! Now what's wrong with everybody here? Is everybody mad? Mm. My love, you did the right thing. Okay? Do not blame yourself. I think your father just needs time. I know. I understand. Uh-huh. Will you still be traveling tomorrow? Oh yes, unfailingly. I just have to make that trip. But I'll be back before you know it. In two days I'll be done. I'll be back. Hope you guys can stay with us. We'll try. Your Majesty. What is it, Yunus? If it pleases you, may I have your permission to say something? Waiting. Your Majesty. It's about. Jean, Your Majesty. Yunus, I don't. Want to ever want ever hear that word, that name in this palace again. Your Majesty, you need to Eunice, you are getting me angry. Now leave. You leave. Are what's a loving father. All the love and care you gave me What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense Yes dear Are you serious? It's today? Oh my goodness, I forgot Okay, do not worry yourself, I will have to come today I don't have a choice, I can't afford to miss it my dear all right, I'll, I'll get back to you. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh my goodness. How do I do this now? I can't travel with my child. Oh. Oh, Luchi, Luchi, where are you? And her number hasn't been connecting of late. Oh, who do I talk to now? Mother. <coughs> Jane. Hello, mommy. Hello.
Hello, Jen. How are you, darling? Mommy, I'm fine. Mommy, I have an urgent meeting to attend to. An interview in Enugu today. And I can't afford to miss it. I really want to go. Alright, so how is that a problem? Yes, there is. My Michael is out of town and I can't travel with my child. Really? So that's not supposed to be a problem. That's not an issue. Why don't you bring her to the house and drop her with us? I, I can actually leave her with you, but I'm worried about Dad. Your daddy is out of town. I'm telling you, he's out of town. All right? So bring the baby, okay? So that Eunice can help you, even the maidens take care of her. Even me too, okay? Oh, it's all right, Mommy. Thank you so much. I'll do just that. Thank you. You have a beautiful day. Bye. Oh, got to dress. Mimi. You know Mommy loves you, right? Uh-huh. Don't do that. Um, Auntie Eunice. Ifoma. Nelly. My baby, please. Hmm? My princess. You have nothing to worry about. We are here. You can take over. She can also take care of her. Like I took care of you. So, is it not just for a day or two? Yes. Then don't just worry. But my fear is that. You have nothing to be scared about. The king is not coming back this week. Oh. Yes. All right. Thank you. Yeah, okay, my little princess. Mommy is just going to be away for mm -hmm. a night. And I'll come back to you. You know I love you, right? Mm -hmm. Please do not cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 don't, no, don't. Just turn, 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 turn. Let me go, just turn. Hey. Turn. It's okay, you run away. <laughs> Take this, take this, take this, take this. Take this now. Take this. And let's go. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love Then you turn your back on me What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you showed me? And the love that we share What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happens to the care that you show me And the love that we share What happened to you? What happened to you? It's like I'm lost I don't get it anymore Someone tell me what's going on It feels like I am getting drowned you are once a loving father All the love and care you gave me What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love Then you turn your back on me What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you showed me And the love that we share What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the care that you showed me And the love that we share What happened to you? What happened to you? Baby, a 
is she? Your Majesty, she, she, she traveled. Was I not explicit about not having anything to do with Jane in this in this palace? Was I not? Are you disobeying me? No, Your Majesty, you're not. Eunice, I think you're disobeying me. Eunice. You are disobeying me. No, Your Majesty. Majesty, please, I beg you. Let me go out there and take the baby. I can look for someone to look to take care of her, please. Eunice, go into your room if you have nothing else to do. Your Majesty, you're talking about your daughter's child here, your own grandchild. Please. Your Majesty, please, I beg you. You did hear me? Please. What is going on here? The baby out there is Jane's baby. His Majesty threw her out. Jane's baby? Where is she? She's outside the compound. Eunice? What are you talking about? I do not see any baby out there. You did. 
did not see any baby at the gate. What? A doll. He dropped the baby here. Hey. Masi, where is the baby? The minister just told me that, that the, his majesty dropped the baby there. Yes. So where is the baby? No, no, make we ask this cook. Yeah, you carry the baby go. You are an idiot. You are an idiot. Now you be idiot. See, Madam Lolo, make we ask me to go inside there. Lock the gate. Then I can't sit down. I can't do my little boy and Chelsea. Why go tell me 50 million? Now you, you are an idiot. You did this at Business of mine. Is that what you said? I'm telling you, a child is missing. I said, What is that business of yours? It is your business, it is your blood. Now, listen. I told you, and anybody that bothered to listen, I do not want Jane or anything of Jane inside this palace, didn't I? Oh, my God. You just open your mouth to say that. Your daughter brought her child for me to take care of the baby for her. How could do it for you to throw your own blood out there? How could you be so wicked and insensitive? You're a wicked man. You're a wicked man. You're a wicked man. You're a callous and mean. Will I be a wicked man? God, I told you for the rest of your life. Will I be so wicked? Will I be so mean? Will I be so wicked? You're mean. You're a mean man. You're a mean man. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you show me? And the love that we share? What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the care that you show me? And the love that we share? What happened to you? What happened to you? It's like I'm lost. I don't get it anymore. Someone tell me what's going on It feels like I am getting drunk Hello? Yes The only recent picture she has is the one I took her in her infancy I don't have any other one DPO please help me do everything you can to find a baby I'm counting on you, do everything Okay, thank you very much. Mom, which baby are we talking about here? Yes. You are once a loving father, all the love and care you gave me. 
What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? What happened to you? Papa, what happened to the care that you show? Hello? DPO? Yes? Any luck? Oh, God! God, my God, my God! <laughs> How could father do this? How could he do this? I don't just understand. He overreacted. It should be a no grudge against the innocent child. Since this Jane saga started in this house, you all can bear me witness that your father has not been doing anything right. He has not been thinking straight. He has not been doing anything right. <sighs> I've been taking everything from him. All the humiliations, all the insults, all the negligence. But you see, one thing I will not take is talking with my grandchild. I swear, I swear by the gods of this land, if anything should happen to that innocent child, I don't know what will happen to Williams Owakwe. The Queen, calm down. <laughs> calm down. Let's allow the girls to decide this issue. <laughs> what happened to you, Papa? What happened to the care that you showed me and the love that we shared? What happened to you? What happened to you, Daddy? What happened to the care that you showed me and the love that we shared? What happened to you? What happened to you? It's like I'm lost. I don't get it anymore. Someone tell me what's going on. It feels like I am getting drowned. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? Officer, don't say that again. How? When? Where? No. It's not the little child. Mm -hmm. We have actually gone to the scene of the accident. I see some traces of the blood on the road. How can we be so careless on the children? What color of dress was the child wearing? Officer, she was wearing a black pant and a red dress. That means it was the child because she died on the spot. No! 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 It is the dog! It has been confirmed by the police that I lost my grandchild. No! Confirm what? Confirm what? What? These officers came with the news that a certain car ran over a child this morning, not far from this house. Mm -hmm. And the child died instantly. Please come here. Give me my child. Give me my child. Just stop providing my child. Kill me. Please kill me. Kill me. Are you out of your senses? Kill me too. Kill me. Is this woman out of her senses? Kill me. Please kill me. Please give me, give me, give me the way you killed my child. <laughs> Mom, why are you crying? <clears throat> what exactly is going on here? Jane, it's nothing. How can you?
and you say it's nothing. Mom is crying. There are policemen in our compound. What is it? Dad threw your daughter out of the house and uh, I don't know what these officers are talking about. Dad did what? Which daughter are you talking about? My child? What, what nonsense? Auntie Eunice, where is the child I left in your care? What madness is this? Where is the child I left in your care? Where is my child? What is wrong with you people? Where is my baby? <laughs> Let's go to the scene of the accident. You what accident? What are you people talking about? What are you talking about? Oh my God! My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. Who is that? Who is that? You don't want to talk. Who is that? That is he. See your boys, I must keep it. Now let's not stay one place. Yap 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 yap. You walk like. When you see the care that you show me and the love that we share, what happened to you? What happened to you? This asinine. Like go go punish you now. See the way go go cut my game. I don't lose thirty million now. Hey. Someone tell me what's going on It feels like I am getting drowned You are once a loving father All the love and care you gave me What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? What happened to you? Magic. To the care that you show me and the love that we share. What happened to you? What happened to you? Daddy, what happened to the kid? What happened to that child? Uh, Oga Majesty, I be dead the small kingdom where you built for me. They think of my life. Oh. Now I can hear noise, big noise. Now I can go, I can peep, peep. As I the peep, I can see people gather. They, they cry, they cry, they cry. Now I can see one small picky like this way resemble that uh, Junior Lolo Piki. He dead for ground. Blood! They gush from his body, cover everywhere. Ah, as I look at him, all of them, they cry. Hey! I, I, know, I don't want to talk because make you not come verse. Sack me for this job where they sweet me. So now I can look again, they, they cry. Me say, I begin to join them cry. <laughs> if you see me, you're saying that that thing, they make me cry. You, but the 30 million way, as I just caught for the game. Will you shut up? Yes, sir. Shut up! What did I say? You said I should shut up. Stop talking, Baldadash! Listen. In a moment of anger, mm. I took that child and put her outside the gate. All you did was bang the gate against her. You should have... Uh, 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 Oga Majesty, this is no reason to take verse again now. Eh? You know, say two of them, they're still young. Then young. The feet just born another Peking. Uh -huh. uh, Oga Majesty, so may you know verse. They go born again. Mazi. Oga Majesty. Go back. Baby.
it is strong for the daughter And they tell me fathers can do anything for their daughter Allow me to be with the one alone This is the scene of the accident You can see the blood of the innocent child Where is the body of the dead child? Some people took the body away. As we can speak now, police did not see them. Police, what did you do? What did the innocent child ever do to you? What did you do? Police, what did you do? No, 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 I can't take it. <laughs> What, what really happened? Yes. There was an accident here this morning. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So if I may ask, who are you people? I'm, 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 it's a, grand, a, a little girl. I'm her grandmother. She's her mother. Yes. A little girl? Yes. What color of hoodie was she putting on? She was uh, putting on a red top and a black, black pants. pants. A red top? And a black pants. Yes. And that was the child that was here this morning. <laughs> contacted the police commissioner and he assured me that his boys are on top of the situation. The body of the dead child at least will be brought home for proper burial. This is what happens when a simple instruction, simple plea is not adhered to. This happened because you could not listen to your father. Excuse, excuse me, listen to who? <laughs> body of who? Which, which, dead, which dead child? Body of who? Huh? Whose body? What, what are you talking about? Whose body? Body of who? Miracle. Investigation says that our daughter Miracle was killed by a car. Uh, Probably uh, she walked away <laughs> from the gate, you know, just the way children do, strolling. And, <laughs> and she met her untimely death. It's not your fault, Miko. If that's what your father wants, then so be it. That is my problem. That is a question I've not gotten an answer from. Why would my father do this to me? What wrong have I done to him? I mean, this is the worst thing he has ever done to me. This is it. What, what did I do to deserve this? If I knew this was going to happen, I wouldn't have taken my child to that palace. I wouldn't have. I would have traveled without Uenugu. At least by now she would have been with me. 
<laughs> so this is how I lost my child. This is it. Oh. It's all my fault. It's, fault. it's my fault. It's my fault. Remember, she's our child. Our child. Mm. I'm also in pain. <laughs> it's not your fault. I can't take this. I can't take this. I can't take this. I can't. I can't take this. <laughs> But uh, uh, Majesty and Madame Lolo, they inside. Oh, okay. Uh, Let me see the Lolo then. Okay. Wow. to collect Jane's phone number. Okay. My phone went missing, so there was no way I could reach her. And it is important that I need to speak with her. I hope all is well. Yes, Your Majesty. It's about her youth service. <laughs> I saw her call up later and where she was posted to. So it's very important for her to go and pick it up because there's no more time. What was that you just said? Yes. Greetings, Your Majesty. Call up letter? Jane? And youth service? Come on. Before one does youth service, I mean. Oh, this is, 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 uh, is, uh, is amazing. I stuffed her of funds and then asked the VC to ex expel her from school. Yes, I did that. Did she graduate? Yes. Use service? What about, yes, housemanship? Your Majesty, she did a housemanship for one year at the Federal Medical Center. <laughs> Jane came out with the best result from her department. And Michael was the reason behind all that. Michael went to plead with the VC not to eject Jane from school. And he went ahead and seen her through her remaining academic studies. <laughs> That you see, Michael read mechanical engineering. The workshop was established to help young graduates fuse themselves into something, especially the uh, mechanical engineers. The fact is, you never allowed that young man or Jane explain better to you. That young man is a good man and he has a great future. He's not a roadside mechanic as everyone thinks he is. Dad, 
he was a first class student and a master's degree holder. But she never allowed Jane explained. Yes. Mm. So, that young man stood by my daughter. In spite of everything I did, to forestall that. Now, this... Mm, the news of... her call-up? With that, how is she going to manage the fact that her daughter is dead? How? What? Jane's daughter? Dead? I need to look for Jane as soon as possible. Your Majesty, please. I need her contact. My dear, that was how we saw it. The police are still looking for them. How can you tell me you're taking a little girl to the hospital and end up dropping her on the waistband? Does it make any sense? Just ah. hold on, Cheka. You mean that little girl that, that a car killed was found beside the Westbeam? Do you think I'm joking? Oh, Jesus Christ. As I'm speaking to you, her body is still lying there. The police are looking for those that dumped her there instead of taking the poor girl to the mortuary. Like, the case is becoming more hotter. Let me tell you the breaking news. The dead child belongs to the almighty King William's daughter, Princess Jean. Tell me something. But how come the child left the house without nobody's care? If you ask my sister, who will I ask? I'm also confused right now, I'm telling you. What type of carelessness is this? <laughs> I'm also confused though, like serious. So this is how Princess Jane lose her child after nine months. You've seen it now. Like it's very painful, I really feel for her. What a pity. You've seen it now. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? Mom, you all cannot continue like this. Dad may have made a grievous mistake. After all, I wasn't even supporting Jane and Michael because I saw where dad was coming from. But there's one evil happening nowadays that children cannot listen to their parents. Huh? Finish school before getting a boyfriend or a husband. Ijurachu. Now we have lost the baby. Should we all now die because of it? The question is, how is Jane, your little sister, going to cope with all this? Her emotions, her health. The death of her child. It's like an open wound to every mother. It never heals. Mom, she will cope. The Lord who brought miracle will do another miracle. But, Dad, I think you should call Michael and Jane and console with them. Losing a baby is not easy, no matter what matter is involved. You are once a loving father. All the love and care you gave me. What happened to you? What happened to you? My offense is asking to be with the one I love. Then you turn your back on me. What happened to you? 
what happened to you? No, club. When you go club, they go start with blues. When they start with blues, then they will first sing out. Oh my, okay, okay, I love you. When I win my Williams, I go buy those rocks for you. Then from there, they will go up small. Because say, um, baby, please give me, baby, please give me all day. I want to love you. I want to love you. Okay, so now to Michael Jackson. Huh? Sometimes when they call six or kind old people like uh, Oga Majesty, they call go evil. Hey, eh? you mm. you Then you can't go Oh, I'm gonna come up. Mm. Just in a jar. Master, will you stop this madness? Stop this rubbish! Are you not aware we have issues in this palace? And here you are doing rubbish! If you have one millions on your bed, and probably that is why you are here to make noise, I suggest you pack up and leave the palace. Yeah. Thank you! Thank you saying I suggest you suggest, because you be small majesty, you not get power! To take back me, say make I come out. Now your grandma just to get that kind of power. Now employ me come here. But when you talk of one million, one million is a small thing. Make I show you. And they talk of twenty five million. They talk of one million. Twenty five million within one week I will win No asena, no man you go fit cut out. Make I tell you. And when I win now, hey, my okay not ready. But not be that one carry me come here. What you carry me come here now be say miracle day. Come on, Jesse. Big miracle they happen for us. Miracle they happen make they go. We go start with Ogama Majesty. Followed by Madam Lolo. Then Deputy Majesty. There's more Majesty. Uh, this uh, Agama Lisa, no, what gecko? Oh yeah, where could they go? Ogama Majesty, you see, sit down. The miracle go disappear. Oh yeah. Oh my home again, oh my home again, when shall I see my home? Oh, oh, oh yeah, hallelujah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I said he came for me. He loved me well, well. We can love this way. Follow me. I'm going to be a good man. You can love me. You love me. You love me. So they love me. So they love me. You love me. So they love me. So they love me. So they love me. So they love me. Whether I'm not fake, whether this love that you give me, whether I'm not fraud. Oh my God, see this one. See this one where they cook so so sana, they fool your eyes. Oh, I'm gonna follow. If I change my mind, sir, they cook rice. If you talk any harm, I will arrest you.
Return the baby. Return her to where? Hmm? To a place where she's been rejected. I knew Jane and Michael were out of town and I couldn't reach them because my, I lost my phone. So I had to keep the baby with me. Besides, my elder sister put to bed and she needed my attention. I had to go with the baby. At least you should have let us know you had the baby. Do you know the trauma this has caused the entire family? And I am to be blamed here? Oh, no. No. No, my dear, no. No. Ha! Ah. Why do I have this kind of temperament? <laughs> Is my blood too hot? Am I too temperamental? Look at. Hmm. Oh, Luchi. Oh, Luchi. Your Majesty. Thank you very much. You will not put thank you inside your pocket. Huh? You will be adequately rewarded. Thank you. Your Majesty, the only reward you can give to me right now is to give Jane and Michael your blessings. Your Majesty, those two have really suffered. I mean, we should, we should allow two adults to make their own decisions. Your Majesty, I know you love Jane so much and Jane loves you too, despite everything. She tells me how much she misses you. Please, Your Majesty, please, give them your blessings, please. Can I go? Yes, brother. You have your phone now? Call Jane immediately. Tell her I want to see her as soon as possible.
My people, I thank everyone. Uh, there was war. Once there was war between the father and the daughter. But today there is peace. Our child is back. The child of peace. This child has brought back peace to this royal family. Yeah, yeah, take, take. <laughs> I thank everyone that did one thing or the other to facilitate the bringing back of this, this child. Especially back to this royal family. Particularly you, Oluchi. Your reward will be bound to us. Hmm? Michael, um, I wasn't actually against your marrying my daughter, in a manner of speaking. I was just particular that she should not abandon her studies. And that she doesn't begin to have a divided attention. Hmm? I understand. Your Majesty. Yeah. 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 Igwe, I, I understand perfectly well, sir. I want to apologize if it looked as if we disobeyed you. We are sorry. It's just that we love each other so much. I really don't know if that is wrong. We love each other. Uh, I also want to use this medium, man. Apologize if I did anything wrong to you, Father. I am deeply sorry. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. And secondly, Dad, I did not disappoint you. I came out with first class. That's my daughter. That's my daughter. This man here proud. Make all of us proud. The VC already told me about it all, including the noble role played by our son Michael here. Michael became both a lover and a good father. Thank you very much. And uh, Michael, yeah. that mechanical engineering workshop you have where you help mechanical engineering graduates. We have decided to make it uh, more secure. The land on which that workshop is situated, we will give you. And we will make the papers in your name. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, sir. Beyond that, we are going to make that workshop big, a bigger place, a place that everybody will get to hear about. Oh. Thank, Thank you so you, much, Father. Because that's your dream. Yes, sir. It's your dream. Yes, sir. And it's a noble one. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Father. And now to the very, very reason. We are here. Two families are here. The family of Michael and this royal family. There is something these both families are looking forward to. And that's the union between our daughter here and our son. And that's their traditional marriage. Their traditional marriage is going to be one that will be 
the talk of everyone around and beyond. And I will personally ensure that that traditional marriage is something that will be celebrated by one and celebrated by all. Yeah.